we had a really tough year this year. The Yukon River is kind of our lifeblood here, and we no longer have it as an option for getting food. So we're relying on getting moose, bears, and caribou. We had no luck getting a moose this year. The caribou have not shown up in our country until just recently. So Denise and I are on the hunt. There's fresh caribou tracks. I'm seeing a lot of sign today. We just had a fresh snow last night. So anything that we see out on the trail right now is gonna be fresh. So this is pretty exciting. It looks like there's at least two, maybe three. Small band, small bands are harder to hunt. They're a lot more wary. So I'm hoping I can kind of come up on some that are maybe grazing. And if we can do that, uh, I might have a chance of getting a little bit of meat. We're just gonna keep poking our way up river and see if we can't find one, get a shot. I'm at a big disadvantage right now. We're on a small river that has a lot of bends. And so you come up on them before you can really see them to stalk them. So it's really challenging. The animals notice absolutely everything. They're extremely in tune. The only chance we're gonna have when we're on snow machines is to come up to a corner and get a long view down where they haven't had a chance to hear us yet. I just ran into a bunch of caribou. Came out this way and then they went back this way. They heard Denise and I before we could get the machine stopped. Looks like I scared the out of those caribou. There's a bunch of them. Well, not a bunch. It looks like maybe five or six or whatever. Nice. A few more seconds and maybe would have got a shot off. It would have been an awful long shot, though. It's really hard to hunt caribou in this kind of country because, it, like, they're so fast. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. 30 seconds and they're in this brush and you'll never see them, so. Well, let's keep going. Yep. Yeah. 